A sea of raised fists and silence outside AT&T Stadium tonight. Hundreds taking a knee, trying to put the focus back on the original meeting of NFL protests. Welcome to News 8 at 10 tonight. I'm Marisa Vedra. This Sunday, it was the public, not the players, taking a stand. First at church, then outside of the Cowboys game tonight. Nearly 1,000 expected to gather, and among those there are Todd Unger. They marched with purpose on Sunday evening, but this isn't so much about the walk as it is the destination, the iconic statue of Tom Landry outside of AT&T Stadium. Of the United States of America and to the Republic. They number in the hundreds and say they're here on this night to take a knee during the anthem for the Cowboys players inside the stadium who cannot. This stadium is owned by Jerry Jones, a brilliant owner, a patriot, I believe, but at the same time, one who does not allow others to express their patriotism. Pastor Frederick, or Freddie Haynes, is the voice of the group. You fulfill that dream to God, and some of them feel like that dream is now a nightmare to God because they can't share their voice. But, but earlier Sunday, at a prayer rally and meeting ahead of the demonstration, it's evident the Coalition for Justice and Justice for All movement has many voices that share the same concerns. We're about to pray for the families of those who were victims of uh, injustice and police brutality. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, an outspoken critic of NFL players that have kneeled during the anthem, tonight proudly stood, as did most everyone inside the stadium. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, justice for all! But outside, shoulder to shoulder, it was a knee and a gesture and what the group says is a peaceful way to raise awareness. Let's focus on police reform. Let's focus on criminal justice reform. Let's focus on ending mass incarceration. As you might imagine, there was a very heavy security presence. Certainly it looked like more than usual, but we understand there were no reported incidents during the demonstration. Reporting in Arlington tonight, Todd Unger, Channel 8 News. It's not just Arlington. We saw protests in other NFL cities this Sunday, both on the field and outside the stadium. This was the scene in Houston, where social justice groups rallied and took a knee outside Energy Stadium as the Texans played inside.